What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and this is a little intro before the actual intro for the video. I just wanna cover a few things. A couple videos back, I asked you guys if you weren't subscribed to subscribe because um, the watch time from subscribers was about 67 to 33%, and we, uh, we made it, oh boy, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but we made it move a little bit, but uh, we can do better than that, I think. So it uh, went from, if you couldn't read that, it's at 64 and a half to 35 and a half. So uh, a couple of you guys listened out there and subscribed and I thank you oh so very much. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that little red button and uh, then you'll just get notifications when I upload a video. Uh, I try to upload a video every Saturday, 8.30 Central Standard Time. That's the goal. Uh, we're 56 or seven weeks running with one video a week. So. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Thanks a lot, everybody, again, for, for doing that. I appreciate it. One of the other things I said during that video was uh, the more subscribers we can get, the more watch time, all that jazz, we get a little bit more revenue from YouTube. Now, it's not a lot, but I said what I would do with that is upgrade camera equipment. And we're using a brand new mic right now. It's this one. Picked it up. Uh, as an SMX 15 so hopefully the audio is killer out of this it's sort of a, more of a professional grade microphone this is this is the old one uh, and I, I want to show that and talk about that because uh, there's a couple spots in this video where this little guy crapped out on me I guess for lack of a better term so uh, Robbie from today's angler joins us and the spot where Robbie and I sit down and I introduce Robbie, he's gonna start fishing with us because Nate and I had been out earlier. Nah, there's no audio, so uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a little disappointing. And uh, there's a couple other things that just don't get shown in this video. We're, we're using a pike as bait and I'm going to address that right after this, but we're using a pike and some of the clips that had that also the, just bad audio. So I did what I could with this video. Hopefully it's still entertaining. Uh, Nate and I pick up a fish before we get uh, fishing with Robbie and then we have some encounters with some bigger fish later in the day. So it's a cool vid. So to the pike. Um, I want to touch on that real quick because Robbie has already uh, released his video where, where I was fishing with him. And so you guys might have seen this footage. Hopefully it's a little bit different and it's uh, still interesting uh, when I edit it together. But Real quick, using pike as bait is semi-controversial, I suppose, just from the comments that Robbie was getting, and I just wanna to touch on that real quick. So, first things first, it's completely and utterly legal in Wisconsin. In fact, let me read to you straight from the regulations. From the Guide to Wisconsin Hook and Line Fishing Regulations 2020 to 2021, under the bait section, I believe it's page 17. I'm reading this off my phone, but if memory serves me. It is illegal to use game fish as bait unless they meet any length restrictions for the body or the water body you are fishing and are included in your daily bag limit for that species. That means in Northern Wisconsin, on most of those lakes that we were fishing up there, the bag limit is five per day, per person, and the size limit is zero. So there's a reason for that. If, if you're from Southern Wisconsin, the bag limit for pike is 26 and you can only keep two fish. The reason there are less restrictions on those fish up north is the DNR wants smaller pike out of those lakes. Um, they're, they're like little rats, they're little piranhas. They eat up everything and uh, as part of their management strategy, they want more of those fish taken out of there. So, um, yeah, so I, I mean, I guess I don't feel bad uh, uh, catching a pike and using it as bait. Um, you have to, we have to count it as part of our daily bag limit. Um, so uh, there's that. I guess for a lot of people, they just, they don't know that regulation. And, and I, I can't tell you what the regulations were 10, 20 years ago. Uh, it's very possible that, that in Wisconsin, it was illegal to use game fish. That's not the case right now. So that might be something, you know, your dad, your grandpa told you, um, you know, who knows. Uh, but it's, it's just not the case. It's completely legal. A couple other things. Uh, you guys from Europe, I know there's a couple of you out there watching. I know the, the pike over there, just like the muskies here. And, and I saw some guys saying, I just, you know, I have too much respect for the pike. And I, I get that, but 
it's it's different uh, i mean it's different continents man it's it's different places they're 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 managed differently they grow differently and it's it if i came over there there's no way i would use a pike as bait i know i know that's how you view those fish over there but here uh, like i said there's they're everywhere there's the lakes up north are filled with them another thing along with the live bait thing is you know i feel a lot better about going to a lake and catching a fish in that lake and using it as bait as opposed to buying it and transporting it there now granted i do that too i'll buy some suckers but i think it is a lot cooler to go to a, a water body and capture a fish there some smaller fish and use that as bait fish it, saltwater guys do it all the time all the time they go out they either use a cast net or they use hook and line to catch smaller bait fish and use that as bait for larger fish later in the day so um I don't think this should be too much of a, a foreign thing, but it, it certainly seems to be, which is why I wanted to talk about it. Well, hopefully I didn't ramble on too long. I just, I wanted to bring up a couple points about using pike as bait. I'm, I'm sure there'll be comments, questions. Uh, please, you know, feel free, put them, put them in the comment section um, and we can have a hopefully civil discussion over this. We know how YouTube comments can get sometimes, but let's, uh, let's keep it nice if we have questions and, and or comments. With that, Let's get into the video, people. Welcome to we're supposed to be fishing in Canada, but we're not. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. I'm in the north woods of Wisconsin with my friend Nate. He's in the background over here. Uh, yeah. This is supposed to be Canada trip number two, but it's Northern Wisconsin trip number two. And even though it sounds like I'm gonna whine about it, I'm gonna try really hard not to because the fishing up here can be fantastic. We are gonna have a lot of fun. And I already did some fishing yesterday with Jason Smith and Fisher Smith. Uh, I'll leave a little card up here that you can click on to watch that episode. So yeah. Nate and I are fishing. Uh, we've got really good conditions right now. We've got some wind. It's sunny right now, but it's supposed to cloud up. We've got weather coming in. Um, yeah, let's see if we can catch us some musky. All right, surprise, surprise, everybody. I'm cracking out the old eight inch nav, and this fish has gotten me, wow, this fish, I can't even talk. This bait's gotten me a lot of fish up here in the north woods. Nate's rocking a little sister top water. We've got wind, we've got clouds, we've got stuff coming in tonight so we're definitely not going to catch anything because it's just too perfect oh did you get him did you get him hmm. dicking around with a goat oh that's a Yes! That wasn't too Woo! long. Woo! Huh? Not too long into the day. No, not at all. Let me put her on the spot lock here. Uh, suppliers there. I'll get the bump out. the back right there it'll give us some good light yeah, your bait's kind of messed up in there too with it. oh mine is that's all right we'll figure it out feisty one yeah. yeah dude not a bad way to start the trip that is a good one. Let's see how big she is. Here, I'll hold. Okay, you're right there. Uh, about 34. 34? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Not a bad way to start. Nice. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
we've been out here for maybe 15 minutes. So um, yeah, that's a good way to start. A topwater fish, we've got, like I said, good conditions. Uh, there's no reason this shouldn't be a multiple fish day. Now that I said that, I probably just jinxed the entire operation, but let's see. Keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh, this is a suicidal muscle. Over there, that gap. Little flip gas. You just not get his mouth on it good? Just not the hook, he had the bait in his mouth. Yeah. Dang, that was cool. Where'd you pull him out of? Right over here? This little patch of weeds right here probably? Yeah. yeah. Well, Dude, that's cool. that's two fish on top waters now. Top waters, huh? Yeah. That was fun, mate. <laughs> Dang, I haven't seen a muster actual crop bait like that in a long time. That was awesome. <gasps> There's a fish down there. There's a fish, Robbie. I think he took off on me. Came up kind of. Came up, came up a little late on me, but he was. It was a decent fish, yeah. Yep, yep. Boy, that was. That was peppy. Yeah. That would be a definition of that. That was a beautiful, beautiful fish. We got meat on. We have good things happening right now. Come on. All right. Hey, that's that's good though. That's uh, hopefully start seeing a couple more fish because we got that weather coming in. So we got big fish water. Which <laughs> also works well as a beer holder. Got it. Got it. Got, got it. it. Got it. You called it. You called it. I don't think it's a muskie. Though. <laughs> it's a nice gator or a small muskie. All right. You were saying a big fish spot, but it's a nice yeah, gator it's spot. It's a nice gator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Figures. Figures, right? This just died. <laughs> Not a musky. Nate was just saying, big fish spot, big fish spot. I set the hook. My, I almost threw up because I thought <laughs> it was gonna happen. <laughs> I'll take a look at this nice gator. Not a bad one. You don't see a lot of these nice sized pike up here in northern Wisconsin. Uh, definitely rare. There's a lot of hammer handles, but this is a nice. This is a nice pike. Can't beat that. We got an awesome little evening here. We got storms rolling in, and we did manage a nice e socks. We got to follow. But I think Mr. Big Muskie's gonna come soon. We'll get this guy back. Okay, you're fine. Dang it. Thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> Jesus. Where's the bobber? Down. It's gone. I just heard the It's up now. Pulling mine, right? Oh, 
Oh, he's got it. Oh, oh my gosh. He's got it. Oh my gosh. He's got it. That he's got it. Amazing, dude. Yep, he's got it. That was unreal. That was unreal. He just hit it on the top. Wow, nice fish too. Yeah. He's got a T-boned. He's got a T-boned. That was on that, that was real. That was so, so holy cool. Shit. Holy cow. Just going. Well, yeah. The wind's just pushing this rod. Yep. That was just one of the coolest yeah. things I've seen. Forty one, forty two. Not giant, but very cool. Oh, man. I don't even know if he has it. I'm sure he, he's just in the weeds really bad. Well, he was getting chased. Now we know. <laughs> yeah. Wow, is wow, right. Mine was. <laughs> See me and pop him out of that weed, and that fish is still sitting around there. Yeah, he has it. The fish still has it. Maybe? Yeah, got to. I mean that is. Oh no, does not. He just. Yep, he just hit the pike, and went in the weeds and dropped it. Still around, I'm sure. But we really should try to get the weed off without getting our hands grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild, dude. That was one of the coolest things ever. It would have been really cool if you just latched on and we were setting the hook right now. Oh! <gasps> He's still, he's still there, he's still there, he's still there. Dude, that's a freaking dandy. Did he take off? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What was that? Perfect. Yeah. Wow, what a day, guys. Seeing this many big fish, this is awesome. I was like, wow, yeah, that's a muskie. <laughs> Ryan goes, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, he, he was so calm about it, and I'm like, <laughs> I mean, they're thick out here. Dude, Dude yeah. Big, yeah, that was another. Gosh. Eat our freaking pike, would you? Dude, we've got time still, so. We got time, so go Let's on do it. Fish, fish. <gasps> there you go. Nice job, mate. Okay. Wanna put on your yep. If it's a pike, it's a big old large. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You're freaking me out, man. Wow, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> At night, on 109 bucktail. Not a bad fish, though. No. no. Well, that's a dandy. Shoot. I hate you, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, we are back at the cabin transferring footage. I like this place. This is a pretty this nice, nice place. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a fair day. I'd say it was a pretty good day. You guys got popped one in the morning and then moving all that big fish. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Seeing that size caliber fish. I thought I was back in Madison for a second. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. so cool. <laughs> one um, of those special days. It was. So, a uh, little treat though. I think Nate and I are going to fish with Rob again tomorrow. In the Red Lund. In the yeah, Red Rock. <laughs> old Red Lundy. So, that's the plan. Might be a little tight, but yeah, we'll, we'll get her done. We'll make it work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it for today, folks. We're going to transfer footage, get some food in us, and hit it hard for you guys tomorrow so we can put a fish in the boat again, hopefully. And uh, we will see you on the next video.